Welcome to my channel Swiftlan. This tutorial I will show you how to use Fibot operator in SQL Server. If you don't subscribe my channel yet, please subscribe and press the bell icon for upcoming videos. Fibot is a SQL operator allows to write a cross tabulation. Pivot is used to turn the unique values in one column into multiple column in the output. Okay, this is the data in the table Pivot tutorial tab and this is the Pivot operator after using Pivot operator and the result after using Pivot operator. Okay, now I'm gonna creating a database and table. In that case, the just I'm creating database create database pivot tutorial db and then i will create a table then i will apply pivot operator in single table and multiple table first of all i will show how to use pivot operator and how to return uh, data uh, in a single table then i will show uh, how to display the result in a multiple table and in the extra column Okay, create table paper tutorial tab and column name is student name column. Student name is and worker type and the uh, uh, text limit is 50. Subject, subject also and worker type. Data type is and worker. In this playlist, in this tutorial, you can uh, in this playlist you can learn uh, all the concept of SQL Server, Chigar, Table View, and etc. etc. Okay, now I'm gonna inserting some record in this table pivot tutorial tab. Insert into pivot tutorial tab. values John, uh, John is a student name and the subject is English. Result is 80 that is integer type so okay english and then the uh, second record is 70 40 th third record and the history 80 uh, okay history 70 85 and then math this is the result of a student i am just inserting this, uh, this record to uh, display result after using fibot operator okay then trump the student one name is uh, john and the second student name is trump and third student name is vasantha subject math 40 and 80 and 60 okay now execute yes the records are inserted successfully now select star from fibo tutorial tab see that these are the record in this table student name subject and result i'll use fibo operator to display uh, the unique value in the result now i'm going to use fibo operator to display unique value in one column into multiple column in the output in that case uh, write fever operator so first of all column name select student select statement student English the subject is English history and math so I'm just declaring as a record as uh, record as column English math history from fever tutorial tab fever this is my operator fever sum you must use some function in pivot your pivot operator sum result for subject column yes the column is subject subject column in yes the column is english math and history so english comma math and history okay or subject in English math history as 
as, uh, put an alias you can use any alias name PIB now just to execute yes John English math Sam Vasanta okay this is the result after using Fibot operator see that in executing both query the both statement the student subject result and there also a student math English whether it is the re as record in the table data but it's display as column in the after using Fibot operator okay this these records are just in a three column in the table so you have seen Fibot operator in three columns now I'm going to show how to use Fibot operator with extra column in that case I'm just uh, adding a column in this table my table is Fibot tutorial tab use a drop and recreate or alter table to add this column I'm just uh, adding this column uh, after drop what I have not shown here you can try it with it okay uh, the another column name is SL integer primary key identity this is identity column so I don't need to in, uh, insert column okay now see that I, I inserted this column and there is also extra column is serial number column if you use pivot operator as like as previous now the display the result is English and there is many record null record if you want to avoid this you see that there is uh, there is uh, there are 14 records whereas uh, in the database table also have 14 records so it's displayed 14 records after using pivot to pivot operator the to avoid this duplicacy to avoid this record you must uh, add a derived table in that case select uh, student name English method study as like as from from the uh, from you should declare the column and after 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 adding this column uh, you should uh, add an alias as derived table in this case so it's okay uh, from after from add an another statement select student name subject result from Fibot tutorial tab as derived table okay as derived table I just declare this uh, derived table name is temp table I just uh, declare as temp table all are same now just execute yes now it's avoided the duplicacy now in the 14 th 14 records displaying on three records okay see that yes these are the records in the table and it's displaying and ever it's uh, also except the extra column serial number SL column okay so now English and math history okay I have seen pivot operator in four columns in single table now I'm going to show how to use pivot operator in multiple table so in that case uh, now I'm gonna creating an extra table this table is the uh, create table student info and the columns are ID integer primary key identity okay this is one column and another column is student name and worker I will join uh, student name with the Fibo tutorial table student name okay my table is created now I am gonna insert some records in the student info tab John and uh, John Trump Vasantha okay John okay Vasantha Trump insert these records oh software does not match so sorry I didn't change the table name is student info change the table name is student info okay execute yes the records are inserted successfully now mm, uh, there is a little bit change in the, uh, in the statement because of uh, I am uh, using multiple table uh, yeah, uh, to use pivot operator okay now uh, inner join fever tutorial tab on s dot student name equal to o dot student name so 
now student name as dot student name and o dot subject o means o, the, o is the alias of the fever tutorial tab and s is the alias of the student info tab okay now just execute yes now it's displaying the uh, result after using fever operator unique value uh, the output okay